Amen. Amen. Oh. Well, uh, <laughs> the last few months, not few months, but started last year, I've been helping my daughter constantly, every day, doing something good, going to the store, getting the latest food across the street for her every week for her and doing a lot of good things. But every time I come, come home, my house is messed up. People are going to my house stealing. And I said, that's got to be the devil. And I asked the Lord to take all that evil away from me, from around me. And I constantly ask, and I pray all the time. And I went to sleep, trying to abandon on the floor. And the lady up on me died last week. Mm. And water is running downstairs on me. Because her sink overflowed the week that she died. But now, they're talking about some pipes busted in there. And I can't understand why the rug under the towel, why I got the tub, it's not wet, but the towel was soaked. So, I want y'all to help me pray for this. Amen. So, that's all I have to say. That's Amen. Anybody else have a testimony this morning? Anybody at all? Just um, thank God for another day. Thank him for all his blessings, the ups and the downs. Thank God for just being with us and um, praying for the sick, the shut in. And anybody who wants to come back to church, I'm hoping they come back to church. God is good all the time. Anybody else? Amen. I'm going to read this uh, Psalm 23. Everybody knows it. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. What I want to point out is, uh, I will fear no evil. I want to point that out. We talked about that in uh, Sunday school to a point. I will fear no evil. Evil's all around us. Yes. It's going to stay all around us. But we got to stay prayed up. Yes. We got to stay ready. Amen. We got to keep, keep holding on. And we got to keep asking for the Lord to help us. Jesus on the main line. Tell them what you want. Well, Jesus on the main line. Tell them what you want. Jesus on the main line. Tell them what you want. You just call him up and tell him what you want. If you're sick.
fast than what you want. We are here to praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. That's what he wants from us. So let's give it to him this morning. Let's give him that praise and worship this morning. Let's give it to him. Amen. I want somebody to say hallelujah this morning. I know it's hot. I know it's hot, but it doesn't matter. We praise the Lord whether it's hot, cold, or whatever, right? Amen. 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 A lot, of us, a lot of us are here. That's just what we're here for, just to praise the Lord. Amen? Amen. We're going to start, we're going to do our um, doxology. Amen. And then our call to worship. Amen. Please stand.
Oh, Heavenly Father, we just come in your presence to say thank you. Yes. We come this morning worshiping you and are thankful for sending our son, Jesus, your son, Jesus Christ, so that we can have a chance at life. Yes. Lord, we thank you. And we ask that you forgive us of our sins and where we have come short of your glory. And we're just asking this morning as we come together to give us a new mercy today. Lord, as we come, we're asking that you just fall fresh on us. Lord, we invite your Holy Spirit that is in this place to just fall anew on us and bless the preacher from the top of her head to the sole of her feet as we listen for a word from on high this morning. Lord, bless those who wanted to be in person and were not able but joined us on Facebook and teleconference. And bless those who will watch later on YouTube that this service and worship be a blessing unto you and them. Lord, as we come, we bring it all to you humbly. Let everything and every situation that is going on that is not of you be corrected by you and set our path. This we ask in your name. Amen. 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 for yourself that do not wear out, an unfailing treasure in heaven, where no thief comes near and no moths destroy. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Yes. Be dressed for action and have your lamps lit. Be like those who are waiting for their master to return from the wedding banquet. Mm -hmm. so that they may open the door for him as soon as he comes and knocks. Blessed are those slaves whom the masters find alert when he comes. Truly I tell you, he will fasten his belt and have them sit down to eat. And, and he will come and serve them. If he comes during the middle of the night mm -hmm. or near the dawn and find them so, blessed are those slaves. Mm. But know this, if the owner of the house had known at what hour the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. Mm -hmm. You also must be ready for the Son of Man is coming at an unexpected hour. Amen. From all the girls who are the stars.
I am the Lord your God who brought you out of bondage. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make yourself any idol. You shall not invoke with malice the name of the Lord your God. Yes. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Yes. Honor your father and your mother. You shall not commit murder. Yes. You shall not commit adultery. Yes. You shall not steal. You shall not be a false witness. You shall not covet anything that belongs to your neighbor. Yes. Lord have mercy. to do. And let's 
do it to the glory of God. I am indeed delighted to see each of you this morning, and we just ask your continued prayers as we worship God. Amen? Amen. Amen. We are now going to bless our offering. Uh, we do have our offering plate here to the left of me. So if you'd if you like to just bring your offering to the offering plate in lieu of uh, COVID, we're just going to have to drop it into the plate.
will all pass away. But there's something about that name. How many kingdoms have we known, read through the Bible, that have passed away? But Jesus is still here. Amen? And how can you say Jesus' name without a smile on your face? How can you not say Jesus' name and the next thing you do is smile? Amen? Well, I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to let the great Reverend Dr. Cecilia Williams come with her word from Jesus. Amen? Amen. that we recognize the high great price mm. that you have paid for our redemption. Yeah. We say thank you, God. Mm -hmm. And we ask, oh God, that your word will meet our needs and give us the grace that we need for the living of these days. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes. Amen. In the Gospel of St. Luke, uh, chapter 12, uh, we will start reading. When a crowd of thousands upon thousands had gathered so that they were crushing each other, Jesus began to speak. First to his disciples, watch out for the yeast of the Pharisees. I mean, the mismatch between these hearts and lives, nothing is hidden that will, won't be revealed. And nothing in secret that won't be brought out to the open. Therefore, whatsoever you have said in the dark will be heard in the light. Amen. And whatsoever you have whispered in the rooms deep inside the house will be announced from the rooftop. Uh. I tell you, my friends, don't be terrified by those who can kill the body, mm. but after that can do nothing more. I show you whom you should fear. Fear the one who, after you have been killed, has the authority to throw you into hell. Indeed, I tell you, that's the one you should fear. Yeah. Uh -huh. Aren't five sparrows sold for two small coins? Yet not one of them is overlooked by God. Even the hairs on their head are all counted for. Don't be afraid. 
you are worth more than the sparrows. Uh, Jesus, in teaching this group, large group, big crowd, Someone in this crowd yells at him and he says, make my brother divide up his inheritance with me. Mm. I mean, this is so out of order. Jesus answered him. He said, nobody left me in charge of distributing your families or any other family's goods. So he declined that offer. The one thing that I want you to hear this morning is that God has set some conditions for us. Yes. And one of the things that he has told us and instructed us to do and this uh, uh, chapter does that very well. He is prohibiting us about something that is very common in our world today as it was in Jesus' times. Greed. Mm -hmm. Greed. Greed. Yeah. The more yeah. you get, the more you want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The more you think you want. Right. The more indebtedness, okay, give me one minute out. Credit card bills is a reflection of your greed. Amen? Amen. Amen. Because if you didn't just have to have it, you wouldn't have charged it. Amen. Amen. Jesus says to them, what you have is what God has given you. Mm -hmm. And he is saying to them that this is something that God intends for you to have. And he wanted that. And he is saying to them, not even, thank you, that you cannot run away. And he is saying, keep this in mind. Keep in mind the fact that you are, you can, the greediness is the source of what confuses our world. The greediness is the source of what keeps confusion going. The greediness is what have caused many, many, many trials Many tribulations, many broken homes, many incarcerations because people are greedy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, when we get over greed, what? When you get over greed, you have something else that God will give you. And he will replace it. Well, this man in the Gospel of Luke and um, 12 and 13, there's a man who got exceptionally blessed with his crops. And his, 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 his crops grew and grew. And he looked around and he was so proud of it. Mm -hmm. Look what I got. <laughs> Look what I had. He said, what am I going to do with it all? He said, I don't have a place to put it. And so he, 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 he started to think about it. And he said, I know what I'll do. I'll tear down all the old barns. Well, I'll take it all down, and I'm going to build new barns so I'll have plenty of space for my new crops. Mm -hmm. I'll have enough room for it. He didn't think about, I'm going to distribute it among those who do, don't have enough. He didn't say, let me take it and move it out so that everybody can come and get what they need and are fed. No, he didn't think that way. He thought like a greedy man. Okay. And a greedy man says, let's get rid of that so we can get something bigger and bigger and bigger. In looking at that, you know, God is a God all the time. Yes, yeah. he is. No matter what day it is, yeah. or what time it is, 
or who you think you are or who you want to be or who your greedy spirit demands that you ought to be. Yeah. But what he is saying to them, this that God said to this man, there's something that you hadn't factored in. You hadn't thought about it. Tonight, mm -hmm. this night, before the sun rises in the morning, your soul is going to be required of God. Yeah. This is the day that you're going to answer the roll call. Yeah. This is the day that God is going to call you from labor to reward. This is the day. And the question is, is what have you done? Each of us have that to answer. Each of us have before us the understanding that one day God's going to call us. Yes. He will call us, and we don't know what time of day or night it's going to be, but one of the things that he has gave us is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your soul, and to love your neighbor yes. as yourself. Yes. 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 He said, don't be greedy. Uh -huh. And so God is going to call us, yes. and we become accountable to that. And when we are accountable to that, we can say, yes, Lord, yeah. here am I. Uh -huh. The Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. Somebody came expecting, looking,
of your children's mercies did give your only son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death on the cross for our redemption, who made thereby his oblation of himself once offered a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation and sacrifice of the sins of the whole world, and did institute and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death until his coming again. Hear our so merciful Father, we most humbly beseech you and grant that we receive these your crunches of bread and wine according to your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. Who in the same night that he was betrayed, he took bread and he blessed it. Amen. And he broke it and he distributed to them, saying, This is my body yes. that is broken for you. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, said, This is the cup of my blood that is poured out for you and for many. Yes. Do this in remembrance of me because of what he has done for us on Calvary receive the broken body of our Lord and drink of his blood that our souls and bodies may be made clean yeah. and washed in his blood you may gather at the table of leading a new life following the commandments of our Lord and Savior. Go in peace and the peace of God go with you yeah. to keep you and restore your soul until that day when he calls us by our name and we gather at his table someplace around the throne in glory. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord give you his peace. Yes. Yes. Go in peace. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. You got yours? Yes. Yeah.